let me make an effect for Poppy's lead in the bridge. Some scene change needs to happen there with her vocal. First things first, I'm gonna make this stereo. I have a trick. I call it the delay verb trick. And I'm just gonna name it the track. And I actually have a preset for it. I'm not, I'm not sure if some of you guys are hip to not to, you can save presets or plugin presets, you know, kick starting point, snare starting point, vocal starting point. Uh, it's great for copying presets as well because there is kit commands to copy the lead vocal chain exactly and then paste it somewhere else. So I, I've recently started to try and think about things, tricks that I do all the time that are, uh, say, presets. So in this case, I just call it delay verb. Something I do a lot, it's literally a delay. In this case, I love, and unfortunately, Massey is only AAX. I really should talk to Stephen about, Stephen Massey about making his plugins for VST versions. Stephen Massey's guy, he's been around for maybe 15 years now, but this delay is just, it's one of my favorites because to my ear and to my dorking around with it, it's one of the most accurate analog tape delays. It reacts and sounds to me like a tape delay. That happens to be, you can put it on the session and, and tempo map it. I don't know why. It just is. There's other delays out there that are just cool that do other things. I kind of feel like delays are like reverbs. You know, one's small sounding, one's bright sounding, one's big, one's lush, da da da. They're all tools, use them all. But Massey, man, the, the, this TD5 is great. So the TD5, snap it to the session grid. Usually we're on a grid. Input and output is stock. The blend I stick to four. So that's your mix. And depending on what I'm trying to achieve, either I move the blend either drier or wetter, more delay. So then obviously only 40% of the delay is then going to D-verb. D-verb's one of the things that so many people ask me like from morning phase, hey, what's that reverb throw thing you guys were doing? And da 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 da, D-verb. What? D-verb, D-verb. It's shitty and it's cool. And that's why it's cool, because it's shitty. 40% on the blend, so then I'm only getting 40%-ish of the delay feed, so I'm getting both the vocal sin going into the reverb and then after it getting the delay, so it's keeping to repeat. And then depending on how long I want it, I can crank up the feedback to go da 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 and it just makes the tail even more longer. In this case, I like the normal mode and the vintage mode really sounds like old school Echoplex to me. And then, of course, you need something clean. The modern works well. It sounds more like a modern digital delay. A lot cleaner, but still has a cool characteristic thing to it. At least his delay, you have a, a tap tempo function. And the other one that, that works really well to do this trick is, uh, funny enough, the Waves H delay does a really similar cool thing. A little bit different, but it works well in this instance. So, so I, I'm just going to solo, solo the bridge vocal. Her bridge. There, run your mouth to keep her. And you can hear it working already, but I'm just going to do some adjusting because this is the part where I probably need to, depending on what level I want. There, run your mouth to keep her scared. You expected her to care. but it's really small sounding. It doesn't chew up real estate. And I, I don't have to high pass or like grab an EQ curve to kind of force it into the, the spacious. Let me find out where exactly the bridge, like her, vocally her bridge starts. Put her back together, run your... So then let me automate this sucker real quick. And then I mute it that way. And then I grab the automation line and turn it on so it'll kick in.
Now in that case, I kind of want to hear a little bit more delay so I can just crank the blend up a bit. Now I'm leaving it loud on purpose so you can hear it. Delay is working the way I want to hear it. Now it's just too loud, so let's turn it down. Let's go four. Sweet. So that's my uh, delay verb trick. Enjoy.